let's talk about cell cycle. All living organisms, either plants or animals, are made up of cells. These cells come together and form various tissues and organs, like for example skin cells. Now the big question is that, how can one cell form such an enormous number of cells who then combine to form organs? Digging deep, let's talk about the first cell. All multicellular organisms are formed from a single cell zygote. According to the third point of cell theory, new cells originate from pre-existing cells, which means one cell form two new cells who further form four new cells and thus the cycle continues. This process of formation of new cells is called cell division. It is called division because cell divides itself equally among the two daughter cells. In order to divide, each cell passes through a series of defined stages which constitute the cell cycle. As you can see from the image, in a cell cycle, there are two major phases. The M phase, where cell division takes place, and rest of the preparatory phases combined is called the inner phase. M phase is made up of two phases, first the process of mitosis and second cytokinesis. During mitosis, duplicated chromosomes are separated into two nuclei, while in cytokinesis, the entire cytoplasm divides into two daughter cells. So basically, mitosis causes nuclear division and in cytokinesis, cytoplasmic division occur. The remaining phases of cell cycle, where the cell is not dividing, constitute the inner phase. It is the period between cell divisions when the cell grows and engages in diverse metabolic activities, preparing itself for the upcoming mitosis. The phases of interphase include S phase, where replication of cell's DNA takes place. DNA gets doubled in number in order to be divided equally among the two daughter cells. There is a defined period of time between the end of DNA synthesis phase and the beginning of M phase. This period is termed as G2 or the second gap phase. The G1 or the first gap phase is the period following mitosis and preceding DNA synthesis. The cells that have stopped dividing, whether temporarily or permanently, are present in a stage preceding the initiation of DNA synthesis, which is called G0 phase. Cells must receive a growth-promoting signal to proceed from G0 phase to G1 phase and thus re-enter the cell cycle. M phase usually lasts only an hour or so in mammalian cells, but inner phase may extend for days, weeks or longer depending on the cell type and its condition. That's all about the cell cycle. This video took a lot of hard work so please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.